Good evening everyone. Hope everyone's doing well. Welcome back to Blue Ridge. And after a few days off, I'm back. And um, yeah, another another weekend of some pretty insane, crazy coin sales. Uh, the first in which definitely needs a lot of explaining uh, because I, quite frankly, I'm a little perplexed. Uh, even with a little bit of information that I'm going to share with you tonight. Uh, this is a 1954 Lincoln Wheat Cent, absolutely beautiful coin. Uh, and this one sold on greatcollections.com this evening to the tune of $3,993.75. Let's just call it $4,000. It's a lot of money, but I, I think the, the price is insane on this one for the mere fact that it is graded PCGS Mid State 66 out of all grades, full red, CAC stickered, okay, green sticker, in a, in a original green holder, which I believe this is a second generation holder that was used, I think, in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, but Mid state sixty six, yeah. I, I mean, no, no one would really associate four thousand dollars with this grade, considering. And get this, five hundred and ninety seven pieces were graded at the sixty six level. All right, just go ahead and take a look at the coin. I mean, the coin is pretty nice. Don't get me wrong. Uh, the th there's some. Planchet nicks on there that I feel like would take away from it and uh, Being that the earlier PCGS graders were not nearly as conservative as they might be today. In fact, they're a lot harsher during that time period That some I believe are were bidding this one up to speculate on what they would perceive to be an upgrade to a 67 Again, it's all speculative. Would I dare pay that kind of money to see if I could crack it out and resubmit it in the hopes of a 67? Because that's pretty much where it would need to land in order to justify this $4,000 price tag is truly insane. Which just goes to show you, it's more than just the grade. People actually take stock in a few things. The first and second generation holders are of increasing demand today again for the mere fact that people more so the seasoned collectors uh, are under the impression that these are vastly undergraded and it might be I've some I've seen some pretty incredible flips where some of these coins have jumped up two point levels like let's say a 65 to a 67 66 to a 67 plus or maybe even 68 it, it's it's really hard to say and i guess whoever purchased a coin i believe either this is not a registry coin yeah, because there are 68 other examples higher than a 66 so that's mind-boggling in itself that they, there is nearly 700 pieces at a 66 level and higher yet this one sold for a few dollars shy of four grand uh, but anyways, I wanted to report on this specific sale. It's truly a hair raising experience to say the least. And, uh, I hope it works out for the buyer. Okay. That, importantly, because I, I feel like this, this is a purchase that'll end up being a, uh, a, a crack out and a resubmit style of purchase. I don't know. Or maybe it might just be collected and purchased for the old green holder along with the CAC designation. But anyways, that's that. So uh, just to recap, it's a 1954 Philadelphia Lincoln Wheat Cent Penny that sold for $3,993.75, graded PCGS Mint State 66 full red CAC certified original green holder second generation. So I thank you guys again for joining in this evening. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy the videos that I offer up. And I appreciate your guys' time. You guys enjoy the rest of your evening, and I'll see you later. Take care.